Michael, there's a lot of ways you could go with this one. 59 from the bench, 39 assists. Uh, wh where do you start? Uh, well, team win. I mean, team, team win, to your point. Um, the ball movement was just fantastic. 39 assists to your, uh, what you just mentioned, my 20 assists, my three turnovers in the second half. Uh, you know, to come in here and, and beat this team, win every quarter, uh, and to get contributions from so many people was really fun to watch. Um, I thought our second half defense was incredible. You know, anytime you got to score a team 71 to 43, uh, and a half that bodes well. Uh, they shot 39% in the second half and 27 from three. Um, so there was a, a lot of things jumped out. I thought Aaron Gordon was terrific on both ends of the floor. Um, you know, Bones Highland, you know, ran forward making shots. Just, just everybody. I mean, really, this was a, a true team win. And to be 4 0 on this really crazy road trip is incredible. Couldn't be more proud of our team. Uh, and obviously, we're not satisfied. We have two more games to go uh, as we get ready to head to Minnesota. What do you attribute the 39 assists to? I mean, do you feel like the guys are just playing joker ball, for lack of a better phrase, just the unselfish moving, constant cutting, that, that, that vein? No, I, I would. I mean, and Nicole's great at that. But, you know, for seven years, we've been an unselfish team. I mean, this is, you know, something that we preach every day. And it's not just Nicole's responsibility. Uh, it is everyone's responsibility. So, obviously, Nicola, 18, 15, and 9. I don't know how many triple doubles he is, uh, or almost triple doubles he has in his career, but, um, you know, but Monte has seven assists. Will has five. Bones has six. It's just kind of our identity, you know, who we are, our culture, um, preaching being selfless, making a play for somebody. And you, we knew against this team, they're going to give you 40 plus threes. You know, we've been able to win here three years in a row because we've made threes, but also, Mike, I think we're also generating good threes. You can just easily come down and jack shots. I, mm -hmm. I think we're getting them off of really good ball and body movement. And the and guys stepped up, you know, 23 made threes is obviously a, a great number. What do you think it is about this building that you guys hit so many threes? Because it was 22 that you made two years ago. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think part of it is definitely how they defend. Sure. I mean, they're a really good team. They're top 10 in both offense and defense, as we mentioned pre-game, Kate. Um, but, you know, that is their defensive kind of game plan. They're going to shrink. They're going to really take away your paint. How many paint points do we have? Now we have 44, which is not bad, but um, they give up 40 plus threes a night. And it's up to you to make those because they do a really good job of flying around and contesting behind it. But um, step in, make, you know, shoot it with confidence. And we had a lot of guys shoot the ball really, really well tonight, which was, uh, fun to watch. Even that group in at the end, Marcus Howard, homecoming of sorts, played at Marquette, um, shooting into a big basket. So, um, yeah, this is this was a really, really good win for us. Proud of our guys. And once again, you know, we still have a lot of work to do. Going off the 59 bench points, you've been tinkering with the rotation a little bit. Now you have more guys that are healthy. Where do you feel like that group is at in terms of rhythm and, and your rotation with them? Yeah, I think anytime you, you win all four quarters, and uh, what that means is that your starters are playing well and your bench is playing well. Um, and, and we know what we're getting from our starters most nice, but I think the bench has been really good. Uh, I think the one thing um, that jumps out the last kind of game and a half is Bones as our backup point guard. Uh, again, this is, you know, me doing that is not saying that we were struggling because of Faku Kambaza. That's not the case at all. It's just trying something new, trying something different. And early on, the results have been really positive. I'm proud of Bones going out there, playing with great pace, making plays for his teammates, taking the open shot, guarding, competing. Uh, and that's what you want to see from a young player like that. He's got so much potential uh, in front of him. J. Mike hadn't been playing. You know, DeMarcus without J. Mike played tonight. I thought J. Michael was terrific. Physical, screening, rebounding, uh, defending. Um, so, you know, yeah, my, my job sometimes is really hard. It's a good problem to have. But we have a lot of deep, uh, talented players on this roster. So um, as we move forward, we'll figure out, you know, all my decisions are based on one thing, Katie. I'm just, I'm just trying to win a game. It's never personal. As long as I'm communicating with guys, they may not always like the message, but at least you're getting a message. And, uh, and if we're all truly uh, on board with being a team that wants to win, well, you know, you got to do what's best for our group. Michael, you seem particularly excited when J. Mike had a couple putbacks, and I think uh, Bones found him under for a dunk. 
Like, how hard is that for a veteran to be in his spot in or out and then snap in and be ready and contribute like that? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, when guys are not playing, like, I tell this to the guys, like, you know, I'm a competitor. You know, I, I mean, I play, you know, basketball if you want a long time ago. I don't expect guys that are not playing to be happy. Mm -hmm. like, that's, that's, that's naive. But, I, you know, you should be upset. You're a competitor. You want to play. You have pride. Just use that in, a, in, in, in the right way and stay ready. Because as we all know, how many times in this season already have we seen um, guys that were out and got a chance and they came back? An injury, COVID, whatever it is. So, uh, yeah, I was just, you know, you know what you're going to get from Jay Mike. He works his ass off. He's physical. He's tough. He rebounds. Uh, and, and, and I was really excited because Bones running that unit and just making his teammates better. Right. You know, you're seeing a young kid who is, all right, I came in, I was scoring the ball. Now coaches have me run my team. He's being vocal. He's getting them organized. I've just seen so much growth from Bones Highland uh, recently, and, and that's where like, I'm just so proud of him because that's not easy. You know, I mean, like uh, Dick McGuire, late great Dick McGuire, Dick to Nick would say, a lot of people think you can draft a kid and say, we're going to make him a point guard. No, point guard is different. You can't make the guy just a point guard. Uh, but Bones has played that position before, and I think he's done a really good job as of late. So uh, it's something that we can build on. This is obviously the toughest game of this road trip so far. Do you feel like your guys came into this game thinking this was going to be a little bit of a measuring stick game or, or a bigger challenge for them to see where they're at? You know, um, I, I don't know. I don't think so. I'd be curious to hear, you know, you asked that question to some of the players. Uh, and the reason I say that is, you know, because I know for me, I don't approach Detroit or Brooklyn without James Harden and Kyrie or New Orleans without Valentinus and the like. I don't approach those games differently. Like each game scares the hell out of me. You know, that, that's how I approach it. You know, I, we're, we're playing, uh, you know, the, the Bulls that won 72 games every night in my mind. Um, so it wasn't any like, oh, this is going to be a much tougher game because they're the Bucks defending champions. It's, you know, we know when we play our game, we're really good. And then we're able to do that. And, and I do, do have to give a shout out to Henry Schwartz, my mob craft brewery. He hosted up the coaches last night. And uh, we had a great event over there, and he's building a Mobcraft in Denver on 25th and Champa. So, Mobcraft Brewery, baby, let's go. 